So just a heads up, this episode of Dinosaur of the Month was supposed to be released around late July, but because of some things that ended up falling through and the fact that I ended up getting sick, uh, it just didn't happen and that's why it was be it's being postponed to this month. And to compensate for the fact that I didn't upload an episode last month, I'm going to be uploading a second episode of Dinosaur of the Month uh, this month in August. So that is why you will be seeing two episodes in one month. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say about uh, not <laughs> uploading a Dinosaur Month episode in July. Uh, just count this one as the July episode that was supposed to be up, uh, but ended up getting postponed because I was sick. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, enjoy the episode. So for this month's dinosaur, I wanted to cover some recent news about a creature that I've been looking forward to talking about on this show for some time now. And that dinosaur would be the fan favorite Dilophosaurus. Ever since Jurassic Park released into theaters, this dinosaur has gained a reputation in pop culture, showing up in movies and video games with its now iconic frill and poison spitting features. Over the years, it's become really well known and due to some new things discovered about this guy, I figured it was time to cover it today. The Dilophosaurus weather really lived around 190 million years ago in the early Jurassic period, and during this time and place, it was the top predator. It was the largest carnivore of its time and region, as it stood around 10 feet in height and 20 feet in length. It was discovered in 1940 by a Navajo man named Jesse Williams in Arizona. A couple years later, Williams revealed these remains to paleontologists at the University of California, which is located in Berkeley. And among these paleontologists was Samuel Wells, who would go on to eventually name the Dilophosaurus as a new species over 10 years later. Eventually, a team was sent to reconstruct certain parts of the bones out of plaster and fill in the gaps on the incomplete skeleton. But unfortunately, when reconstructing the skeleton, it was intentionally made to look more like an Allosaurus, which altered the overall look of the Dilophosaurus. And to make things even more difficult, it wasn't specified what bones were actual fossils and what bones were made of plaster. This ultimately led to the reason why so little is known about the dinosaur despite being discovered 80 years ago and the confusion as to what family this dinosaur was a part of. It would be two years before two more Dilophosaurus remains would be discovered at the same place as the first one. These newer specimens revealed that Dilophosaurus had strong jaws and muscles it was much larger in size than first thought, and they also revealed more about their most striking feature. The Dilophosaurus's main feature was its double crest atop its head, which was most likely used as a display feature to attract mates or intimidate enemies. If this was the case, the crest would have been brightly colored, and that is really the only peculiar feature the Dilophosaurus has, since its frill and poison spitting feature were simply fabricated for the big screen. What was once thought to be solid bone, the crests are now seen as hollow, which is a feature that was actually helpful towards a Dilophosaurus. Within the hollow crest, there were air pockets that led to various parts of the skeleton, including the brain case, making it lighter than expected. These air holes indicate how this family of dinosaurs managed to become larger in size without being crushed by their own weight. Their bones may have been hollow, but they were also reinforced, making these dinosaurs light, strong, and agile while still maintaining their large sizes. Very few times do we see the Dilophosaurus more accurately in modern media, since it's always been depicted as a much smaller, fragile, yet deadly animal, when in reality it was at one point the largest apex predator of the early Jurassic period. But these recent studies show more interesting things in regards to its crest. The crests also join up with the dinosaur's nasal passages, a feature that's also seen in modern birds. This could be because the crest may have been attached to possible air sacs that were inflatable, and if this was the case, this would most likely also be used as a display feature, much like the crests themselves. The Dilophosaurus is a very interesting and unique dinosaur, and one that is very important for the understanding of theropods in the early Jurassic period. And even after decades of confusions and struggles, we've still managed to gain more information on it. Even if it is considered the best worst known dinosaur by Adam Marsh himself, it's amazing to see 80 years worth of work and dedication go into a dinosaur that, despite its popularity, is one that is very mysterious to this day. 